And tonight, a member of Ken Buck's own party is claiming the Colorado congressman tried to pressure him into committing a crime. All right, first the backstory. Two Republicans were in the running for a soon to be vacant state Senate seat down in the Springs. You need 30% of the vote to get on the primary ballot. Candidate Larry Liston received 75%. His opponent, David Stiver, managed only 20 for 24%. And Stiver argued that changes brought about by coronavirus made the election unfair. Well, members of the state Republican Party agreed and decided to put him on the ballot anyway. Standing in their way of doing so was Eli Bremer, the GOP chairman for the district. And what follows is a conversation between Bremer and state party chair Ken Buck. Do you understand the order of the executive committee and the central committee that you will submit uh, the paperwork uh, to uh, include Mr. Stivers and Mr. Liston on the ballot with Mr. Liston receiving the top line vote. Uh, yes, sir. I understand that the uh, Central Thank Committee you. has adopted a resolution that requires me to sign a false affidavit to the state. Yes. And, and will you do so? I will, I will seek legal counsel as I am being asked to sign an affidavit that states Mr. Stiver received 30 percent of the vote. I need to seek legal counsel to find out if I am putting myself in jeopardy of a misdemeanor for doing that. And you understand that I will consult the, of the Central Committee that you do so. Now that recording was first reported in an excellent article by the Denver Post and today we had the chance to speak with Mr. Bremer. He's, and here is how he recounted that call. He repeated himself I think three times um, and made darn sure, I mean he's pretty much a bully, he made sure that I understood that he didn't care that I was being required to commit a crime. The idea that Ken Buck, a sitting U.S. Congressman, a former district attorney, a licensed attorney in the state of Colorado, did not understand what he was doing is laughable. We have made multiple attempts at an interview with Mr. Buck. He has not gotten back to us, but he did tell the Denver Post that he was only asking Bremer to comply with the committee's decision. A court ultimately decided that Stiver could not be on the ballot.